Hey, what's up all you cash flow investors out there? I am James Wise, this is my associate Kevin Hogue, and today is a very special episode of James Wise Searches the MLS. We got an awesome duplex in Cleveland. Let's dive in. I was dying to change from a spark to a flame. I want fire, fire, burns bright, a to All right, for all of you that don't know, Kevin Hogue, he runs our insurance business. So anytime you buy an investment property from me, I'm always telling you, hey, we are the complete turnkey solution. We'll be able to offer you insurance. This is the guy right here that handles all of that. And if you didn't know, Kevin is actually still a licensed real estate agent here at Holton Wise. Primarily, he spends the most of his time handling all of your insurance needs, but he does also help investors buy and sell investment property. And he actually is here today because he called me up He's got a new duplex that he's putting on the market for one of his clients. And I just had to get him in front of the camera so you guys could see this property because I know you guys are going to hop on this thing. Tell me the details on this property, Kevin. If the address is 3102 West 111th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. It's going to be listed at $62,900. 62900 Yes, absolutely. Does it, it need a bunch of repairs or what? It needs minor repairs to it, but it is currently occupied and rented out at 1100 a month. What are the taxes on this thing? Taxes are low. Currently, they're sitting at $1,260. That's a nice benefit to Cleveland over you know some of the areas like Shaker Heights or Lakewood. Tax is much lower. Now, Kevin, as you know, the majority of those duplexes that we have here at Holton Wise, we probably have know, five, six, seven hundred of those things, exact same layout. We are renting for usually six fifty, six seventy five. This one, the guy he's renting them at five fifty, five fifty. You said there's a little bit of repair. So why are these just like long-term tenants that have been there? Correct. Yeah, they've been here about two and a half years now. Okay. So there's just some wear and tear on the property. All right, so this guy, he's getting 1100 so that's 550 uh, As you guys probably know, we have hundreds and hundreds of these exact same duplexes in our portfolio. And we rent those, you know, we rent them 650 675 This dude, he's renting them for 550 $550. Why is he renting it a little bit lower, number one? And number two, how much work do we need to put into these things to get them up to market rent? He's renting these for a little bit lower than market rent because this is kind of a side project for him and they do need some work. They're a little bit outdated units. Okay, cool. So just so you guys are aware, anytime we have some long-term tenants in these units, anytime you have tenants in units for multiple years, you're gonna do a lot of the same stuff, right? You're gonna be repainting it. Are they currently carpeted? There's half carpet and half uh, the original hardwood floors and the bedrooms in the hallway. All right, what we wanna do with all these units, cause there's gonna be a lot of stuff you gotta do over and over and over. We're gonna harden it one time. So you could take all that carpet, pull it out one time, refinish those hardwoods so you don't have to worry about that again. So half of the units got carpet, the other half's got hardwood. So we're just gonna refinish the entire hardwoods and then next few turnovers, you guys don't need to worry about that. And then we just have to repaint it. The kitchens are just like dated. So what we're gonna wanna do guys, we're gonna wanna spend five, six thousand dollars and we're gonna give folks what they want. We're gonna give them a nice, beautiful, modern kitchen. You know, we go new cabinets, undermount sink, granite or quartz countertop, and then we are gonna have the cream of the crop. We're gonna be able to rent those things for six seventy-five. dollars Honestly, in Cleveland on the west side, with granite or quartz and an undermount sink, we found that we could actually push the rents up on some of these units up into seven, seven and a quarter. I don't want you to think, oh, an extra $50, $75 a month in rent and then just calculate just that on your return. What I also want you to think about is by getting that seven, seven and a quarter tenant who's very happy to live there, you're getting your increased rent. Yes, number one, but that's not even the most important part. The most important part is a higher paying tenant. It's gonna be a better quality tenant and a higher paying tenant who's got a nicer unit is less likely to move. Nobody is looking at these two units right now like, damn dude, these are nice, I can't wait to cook dinner, right? Right. Absolutely. Nobody's wife or girlfriend is, is going crazy over these. So these tenants, are they, they're currently paying though, right? Absolutely, they've been there for over two years. Okay, perfect. So you take this thing over, if you want, we can make small rental increases to these tenants or you could just let these tenants ride no sense in creating additional turnover. Turnover is your biggest return killer. When these do go empty though, we'll put that renovation into the property. If we do a nice high-end kitchen, we could literally be up to seven and a quarter on each unit. For those of you tracking the math at home, it's gonna be $14.50 in total rents coming out of this thing. And Kevin's got this sucker priced at $62.9. To get us to a point where we can get $14.50, you literally probably only need to spend maybe twelve thousand dollars 
So that's going to take you 73, 83, that's, that's like $85,000 for fourteen fifty in rent. That, my man, is a hell of a deal. Yes, it Hope is. Hope you brought that in. All right, dude, so house built in 1920, older house. So talk to me, man, the big ticket items, what everybody wants to know, roof, furnace, hot water tank, electrical. Absolutely, let's start with the furnace. They're uh, older furnaces, but they work like a champ. He's maintained them, had them serviced every year since he's had the property. Okay. Would you guesstimate they're at least 20 years old? I would or? say they're 20, a little bit, maybe a little older than that, but yeah, they're good rate furnaces. Not original furnaces, 20 year furnaces, guys, as you know, I've been telling you, if you've been following the content, the furnaces in these types of properties, life expectancy, 30 to 40 years. He's got 20 year old furnaces, the plan of attack, you just keep riding those things out. When they do break, we simply replace them, guys. 3,500, not a big deal. Move on. What about the hot water tanks? Hot water tanks are about 10 years old. 10 years old, great. Life expectancy on a hot water tank, typically about 15 years. Either of these hot water tanks goes, we're looking at about a thousand bucks. How's the roof? So the roof's in really good condition. It's about 10 years old. Which is awesome, guys, because you know the life expectancy on a roof is going to be 30 years. A house like this, we're looking at about five, maybe six thousand dollars to replace it, but we have at least 20 years left on this sucker. And then the electrical panels, how are those? Are those breakers, fuses, what? The electrical panels are breakers and they've been updated probably within the last five years. Now that's awesome. They're not Fed Pacific, right? No Federal Pacific panels in this property. Beautiful. The fact they're not Fed Pacific is great. In case you are not aware, Federal Pacific panels, that was a nationally sold brand. It turns out they had a problem. They had a history of not actually tripping, which could cause the wires to heat up potentially causing a fire in your property, which you don't like. Being that you're also the insurance guy here, uh, outside of the inherent risk I just mentioned with the Fed panels, like, isn't that even an issue? Like, won't you not insure some of these properties sometimes? Absolutely, yes. Federal Pacific panels are a no-go for underwriting in the insurance world. It will get denied if it has Federal Pacific panels. Since this property is in Cleveland proper, there's also no POS that these guys got to worry about. So to me, Kevin, it looks like we pretty much got a totally turnkey asset here. 62.9. Yeah, those rents are a little bit lower, but it's still cash flowing right now. With a huge upside, we can get it potentially up all the way to 14.50. If you guys want to make an offer on this property, you can reach out to me directly. My email, jameswise at holtonwise.com, or you can click the link above or below. Again, as I mentioned, Kevin also helps buyers, sellers, investors. You can reach out to Kevin directly. Kevin, how are they gonna find you? You can email me at kevinhwpg at gmail.com. And Kevin can help you buy the property. He'll also give you a quote to insure the property right then and there. Thank you for watching. Cleveland is one of the top rental markets in the entire US. Our prices are low, our rents are high. At Holton Wise, we are the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they're local, out of state, or abroad. As real estate brokers, we can help you buy the properties. We even have referrals for lenders who can loan on investment properties to investors located in all 50 states. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe, secure, and every property will be delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. We also have full-service property management. We can handle all tenant placement, maintenance, construction, and repairs. One day, when you're ready to sell this investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland area, we can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of real estate investors looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching the video. I'm James Wise, co-founder of Holton Wise. If you are interested in hearing more about me and my personal story, how I turned one investment property into a management portfolio valued over $50 million, I want you to go ahead and follow my personal Instagram, at jameswisehwpg. I want you to go ahead and click the subscribe button for more real estate deals and educational content, as well as check out some of the other videos we have throughout this channel. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy.